Uh, uh, Daisy's the big one. Yeah, and she's the deepest one. She's 1300. So she's a, a dong. Whereas these ones are much lighter. Sorry, just do that one more time. <laughs> <laughs> This is a very big church for quite a small community. Designed by Sir Gilbert Scott George, no, George Gilbert Scott is his name, who also designed things like King's Cross Station and the renowned Winchester Cathedral. We are truly lucky to have a place like this. a beautiful morning here and my good friend Donald who is an amazing ambassador for this island he's here he's gonna show us on a tour of the church I'm really excited okay so we're coming in and I'm not very good on technical words but here we're standing facing the west door and above the west door are these three lovely stained glass windows. These are known as the Drudge French windows. On the left hand side you've got the Caribbean, on the right you've got Asia, and in the middle you've got Alderney depicted by the little boy in his blue and white socks, which is the colour of the Alderney Football Club. Let's have a look at the Bible. So this is... These are the old Bibles. The church was um, occupied by the Germans during the Second World War. Some of the Bibles were removed, but a German soldier found this Bible, which dates from 1683, but no one knew about this for many, many years. And then about 25 years ago, an elderly lady arrived at the state's office and said, we are returning your Alderney Bible to you. But Donald, that wasn't the only artifact returned to this church post-war. Cameron, you're absolutely right. Ding dong. <laughs> The bells which are up there, they removed the bells from there and in 45 a British engineer found them in a field but fortunately they're inscribed and so he's able to identify them and in the early 50s they were brought back to Alderney. The biggest bell is called Daisy, you've got Catherine's, you've got a Laura up there. No Donald's yet. Fortunately not. How often do you guys um, change the flowers in this space? Well, it depends. We, we try to save as much money as possible. There's eight of us all together. I've only been doing it for about 30 years. <laughs> so you helping? You yeah, help the church was built by the Missourio family and it was given as a gift to the people of Alderney. Uh, we've got an intruder here. Oh, that's that's yeah, it's not next Wednesday. No, it's not next it's, Wednesday. It's Valentine's Day. This is a very busy church. <laughs> So what's your job here in the church then? What do you do? So one of two church wardens. These are symbols of office. They look like you hit people with them. They're not actually meant to be hitting people, <laughs> but I do actually have power to arrest anyone who's causing a, a disturbance or an affray in the church or within the churchyard. I have the power to arrest them. I'll be on my best behavior. You better. <laughs> The Friends of St Anne's was set up by a previous vicar here, the Reverend Ingham, who was hugely respected and liked. And it was for people who not necessarily came to church, but had an interest in the building. They might feel that they'd want to have some connection with the church and might like to have support it. I'm imagining there's quite a lot to dust in this place. So I do those, those there, those three there. And I do all those few down the bottom and I do around there as well. You don't miss a single spot? No, not one. <laughs> Rain and gales, that's yeah. when. Basically, yeah, it's always this side which is worse. All the plaster is flaking, as you can see. What can you do about the plaster? Well, that's going to be done eventually, isn't it? Friends of St Anne's, States of Alderney, Congregation, Big the, I the island, everyone. You know, I think these people do an amazing job, and I would hate for them to think that we weren't on their side. On a tiny little island, one and a half by three miles, with just under 2,000 people. You know what I think? I think we can all help them out. Friends of St. Anne's, join up today, guys.
How often do you practice as a choir? Once a week, without fail. Ever missed one? Me? Yeah. Not many. St Anne's Church in Oldney has such an incredible community. They come down here all the time to come and practice. Just listen to that sweet music. That was amazing. I love hearing them practice their singing. One more special surprise. Let's go up the belfry and see what Donald has in store for us. Twelve bells, and we're the only tower in the Channel Island that's got twelve bells. The original ones were six, and they're the big ones over there including Daisy. Daisy <laughs> is a big dong. <laughs> She's a big dong. Daisy's the big yeah. dong. You've held the record for the world's most consecutive bell ringer, is that right? No, the longest peel. And in fact, if you look at that peel board up there, film that, that, um, that explains it all. That big one. Well, I want you to explain oh. it, Donald. <laughs> Me? Yes. <laughs> uh, Too oh, late. Give it a go. I can feel it. That one was Catherine. Catherine's, Catherine's good. Yes. Catherine's nice. Um, how did I do with Catherine? A little bit rigid, but, but it takes hours and hours of practice to get because you have to feel the tension in the rope. Who knew that bells were so difficult. This is a team effort. You can't just do yeah. one person. You have to have rhythm, rope sight, listening skills, all sorts of other skills that I've probably forgotten about. <laughs> Where do you get your bell music from? It's all available online. A lot of the music is very old, named for the places where it was first rung. There's a method called Oxford, there's a method called Kent, London, Glasgow, Strathclyde, Lee. and then, yes, there's an Alderney. Alderney? Play. Yes. It's quite challenging to ring because it was named quite recently. All the easy patterns were named 300 years ago. And how long have you been ringing bells for? 40 odd years. Your favourite bell to ring? Oh, the tenor. Daisy. 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 She's everyone's favourite, isn't she's, she? She, she goes beautifully. There you go, guys. That is St Anne's Church and the wonderful bell ringers. If you like the look at this place, come on down and check it out for yourself. The Channel Islands offer some beautiful, beautiful sights, but this place here in Oldney is truly, truly unique. So, come down. <laughs> Come down, I guess. Uh, that's all.